I feel like in the sort of established art world, like we're saying, you know, whether it's big galleries or big auction houses in London, um, you know, it, it's 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 really excellent. I feel like it's really at the top of top of its class. But in for for young artists getting started, I think that's quite a different story. Um, I mean, obviously, you've got St. Martin's, Chelsea, Goldsmiths, you know, there's so many great art schools, but still, I think there's something about uh, uh, Los Angeles or, um, you know, San Francisco or the, the enthusiasm and the buoyancy and the kind of underlying optimism of a place like that is not always shared by London. I think it's quite a doggy dog uh, city. got a couple of options really um, and they're not great options I'd say. Uh, first you could um, apply to one of the many competitions around London and there are lots of competitions and there are some great prizes, there are some really fantastic kind of awards you can win, they're very prestigious, all that kind of stuff. But the reality is there's thousands of people applying for these things. And then so the alternative for exhibiting your work physically in London is to rent a gallery space and you know if you want a good space if you want somewhere um, you know that people that's going to have significant foot traffic and not just foot traffic but people who are really going to be willing to shell out a fair amount of money on a picture then you're looking at somewhere in central London maybe even like one of the really really um, prominent art districts like St. James's or you know, around there and to rent a gallery for a week it's going to cost you at least a thousand pounds which is just not money that uh, anybody I know in my position has.